You know that feeling when life is going smoothly? It's kind of like riding a bike with the wind behind your back. You get every green light. Work and chores just flow. You enjoy connecting with others. And you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and think, not bad. Then, other days, you feel mentally, physically and spiritually drained. Everything is off. You feel stuck. Nothing works. Everything is annoying. Sometimes, this is due to a challenging situation you're facing, like a relationship breakup, a disappointment or a big change. Other times, there's no obvious rhyme or reason. When these days come around, keep a list of 5 to 10 mood boosters handy and choose to flex your emotional muscle by taking action to get your day back on track. Here are 10 that we love. Choose your favourites and add your own to make your list that's ready to go if you ever need it. If you're finding it hard to get up but you know you have to, count down from 5 with a voice of authority and launch yourself. Make it a non-negotiable. Once upright, whatever you do, avoid checking your phone. It can wait. Before you do anything, down a tall glass of water. It rehydrates, flushes out toxins, improves metabolism, enhances brain function, and promotes digestive health. Start your day with a sense of achievement by doing it mindfully. Clear your mind as you clear off the sheets. Take a deep breath as you lay down the covers and tuck in the corners. Maybe have a little stretch for a celebration as you finish. Even better, make your bed with gratitude. It's better to think about what's right in your life than what's not, and it naturally sets a positive trajectory for the day. If the sun is coming up, spend a minute or two looking towards it, not at it. It helps regulate your body's internal clock. Sunlight also triggers serotonin, which helps boost mood, alertness and productivity. Do some simple breathing exercises, then jot down three simple words to describe what you'd like the day to be like, how you'd like to feel, or what you'd like to focus on. Do some exercises. You don't need to run marathons or swim oceans or live at the gym. Just around 20 minutes a day of regular huff and puff can make all the difference to your mood, outlook, health, energy, sleep, and even food decisions. Perhaps maybe even double it and catch up with a friend so you can walk and talk. Connect with someone you love. Send a text, make a call, go for a walk with them. Do something kind for them. And if you're nearby, hug them. Then, hug them again. Have a mindful shower. Avoid rushing. Slow your breathing. Focus on the physical sensation of water hitting your body. Be aware of the steam, temperature and sounds. And be mindful of the smells of your soap, shampoo and conditioner. If something is on your mind and it's getting you down, have a chat with a mate. Sharing really does take the weight out of your worries, and it often helps you to take a new perspective on things. Don't carry that extra weight around with you. See what happens when you stick with your gotcha good start actions for at least two to three weeks. Keep a journal, jot down some notes on your phone, and track what you notice. One other thing. At the end of each day, ask yourself, then jot down the answers to this simple question. What went well? Finally, if you find yourself feeling persistently down, irritable, hopeless, or anxious for most days over a two-week period, it might be an indicator that you need to speak to someone who can help you to feel better. It is important to do something if you notice changes like this. Often the best first step is to talk to your GP about how you've been feeling and take it from there, as there are many mental health professionals who may be able to help. It can also be helpful to let someone you trust know what's been going on for you.